While I was enjoying quietly my afternoon cup of tea, one of my friends rang me and he challenged me to find a solution to shoot 360 degree footage of his product. If you're wondering what's so special about this, well, let me explain. He needed something big and sturdy enough to carry his larger items. Because he rarely uses it, it made no financial sense for him to go and buy something professional, which would cost him an arm and a leg. After a little bit of research, I realized that something quite small and basic would cost from 300 pounds onwards. Such a device would be an off-the-shelf solution and it would offer the opportunity to control it via Bluetooth. Not only we're gonna try and build something big on a budget, but we're gonna try and enhance it with as many features as we can. This challenge was set on a Thursday, so this gives us the whole weekend to get this through. So no pressure, hold my tea and let's get it on. First, we unwrap the turntable bearing and take measurements. After this, we're going to start with cutting two perfectly round plywood discs. To do that, we need to make a jig first. We cut a thin strip of plywood, which will act as a slide, and we fix it to the back of our jig using double-sided tape and screws. We mark and drill the center of the two pieces of plywood, which will be the base of our project. Carefully, nail the first piece to the base and start working your way around it until you're happy with the result. After I sand it down all around and I was happy with the finish, I drilled the holes to a bigger diameter in preparation of the 3D printed parts. I've painted off camera the two pieces of wood to give it a much nicer look. During the next step, I trim the top side with self-adhesive velvet fabric. I also cover the edge with velvet ribbon all around to give it a premium look. All the 3D printed parts used on this project are available for download, links in the description. For extra safety on top of the wooden screws, I chose to use epoxy adhesive. The first part is finished and it will be the spinning bit of the turntable. Next up is the fixed base that will hold the electronics included the stepper motor.
I fitted the four stands of camera using the same method I did for the stepper adapter bracket. I gave it a finishing touch using felt tabs on the underside to prevent it from scratching the surfaces it will be sitting on. A driver motor was fitted just for trials and it will be explained later on. Last piece of hardware to go on this part is the bearing. It gets centered down and screwed in position. Hi guys, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call in for a timeout as I'm happy with the progress we've done so far today. I hope this was educational for you and we've picked up a few tricks and some ideas. Next, I have to figure out the logical side of the project. I have to wire up everything and then find a solution to command it using a smartphone, somehow. If you're liking the project so far, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.